All right, welcome to the live night hacking um, stream from Cloud World Developer Mumbai. My name is Stephen Chin. I'm the Java Community Manager working for Oracle, and I'm joined by Sai. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, too uh, tired. Uh, so my name is Sai. Uh, uh, basically, I'm from Bangalore. Uh, uh, basically, I lead All India Oracle Users Group as well as uh, currently I'm with, with uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise as uh, lead cloud architect. Yeah, and you guys did a really good um, keynote session today where you were talking about um, Oracle Cloud and answering questions from the audience. So yes. I think that was very engaging. Um, and I think today you're giving a session and talking a little bit about DevOps. Yes, that's my favorite topic. And uh, yeah. So what does cloud have to do with DevOps? Why, why are the two related? Yeah, that's a very good question. So, so we know DevOps, right? DevOps is nothing but uh, you know it's uh, collaboration, integration, and communication between all the teams. Not only development, not only IT operations. Yeah. It's actually beyond that. So, uh, for example, what is the challenge uh, for any company uh, to release uh, any new feature into a production? Uh, so they have to go with a lot of cycles, uh, and it will also take a lot of manual efforts. So to avoid all those things, uh, you can actually implement uh, DevOps, and especially in cloud, because mm -hmm. you can write uh, infrastructure as a code. That's a, a fundamental thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you're automating your infrastructure. Exactly. So. Um, so what's the challenge for any developer, right? For example, he wants to test something in a, a new infrastructure. It will take a long time, maybe three months. But now he can write a single command and where he can get the infrastructure immediately, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the way the value of cloud and which actually uh, uh, the plus point for DevOps. So now there are many companies uh, they can implement uh, in production in less than six minutes. For example, oh, wow. Amazon.com. That's, that's pretty fast. Yeah. So and still, they they think that six minutes is not uh, <laughs> uh, speed enough. They are still uh, trying to understand how to cut down, cut down the time. Yeah. So but the moment the developer checks in, it should yeah, be in production. Exactly, and just it goes for multiple approvals, and you know maybe uh, they'll get a ma app. The app manager approves, then it will go to the production. So that's where the the current business is looking, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I want to show something. I think uh, my small presentation will help you uh, if you are new to DevOps. Yeah? Okay. So, let me show your screen. Um, and yeah. the, first, the first question you're answering is the, the one we all want to know, which so is why, why do you DevOps? Exactly. Why do you need uh, DevOps? Uh, basically, enable faster future to the market. So, as I explained, right, I want to take into a production. How quickly you can get into a production, any yeah. new future or anything, right? And also, uh, which uh, basically in turns to a customer satisfaction. And also, employees are happy. They are not uh, dependent on uh, IT uh, operations team because uh, there is no uh, handshaking. So it's even they can manage with the uh, infrastructure as a code and mm -hmm. just they can just write, yeah? And organization to win the marketplace. That's why uh, this value. Um, and this is this is the, some of the examples I'm showing uh, currently. Like uh, you see Amazon, uh, Amazon.com, uh, they'll do 23,000 per day. Wow. Yeah. So we are talking about, uh, for example, 10 also, it's a very difficult for us. And in, for example, in ERP, uh, it takes uh, uh, maybe 10 for a year. Mm -hmm. But we are talking about 23,000 per day. Yeah. Um, so these are the, some of the examples uh, you can uh, go through. And also coming uh, to what is DevOps, right? It's agile delivery and IT operations to combine together. And there are three important things uh, when you implement DevOps. The mm -hmm. one is quality, automation, and collaboration. So uh, coming to automation is the uh, biggest thing we play in uh, DevOps. For example, um, you have small Java code, right? And you need to automate that so that you can test multiple times very quickly yeah. and see it's working in production. If not, come back and change it. Mm -hmm. You don't require to wait for months to, you know, somebody says it's not working or, uh, you know, uh, something like that, right? So you can, you can quickly 
So uh, the, for, for me as a database guy, I'll say, oh, I'll automate the database deployment, right? So next time I don't ro go to DBS and ask for you know, deployment, right? So I'll just do my uh, deployment, silent inspection. Yeah, automated deployment and automated rollbacks. Exactly. Tests to make so sure it's actually that working. Way, automation plays yeah. a very important role in DevOps. And also collaboration, right? It is not mm -hmm. only developer's job, uh, it's... Collaboration beyond. with operations. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Which brings the quality of uh, any mm -hmm. product, yeah. <clears throat> and this um, slide, I'm just I won't explain again uh, in detail. Uh, I think we discussed about collaboration. Uh, don't point fingers each other, you know. And this is the normal thing uh, we say. Okay, something is not working. We say I'm, uh, this application is perfectly working in my dev environment, but it is not working in production. That's not my problem. Yep. It's IT IT uh, operations team's problem, right? So. It may be difficult, uh, even impossible, to eliminate silos, but uh, the collaboration plays a very important role. And as I mentioned, automation, uh, it, rely, it relies on automation. And uh, there are things when you, when you, uh, when you come to uh, uh, DevOps, like all say continuous, continuous. I don't know what is that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically a continuous integration, continuous testing. So again, uh, coming to your main question, you know, the continuous Testing is very important mm -hmm. uh, key thing to play for any uh, new future, right? Playing, yeah. uh, uh, releasing a new future. Uh, so by, for testing, you need a lot of uh, infrastructure. And you use for only for the testing purpose, and you need to release back to cut down the cost, right? So you can actually do that also automation in DevOps. So you don't require to depend on even testing team. Mm -hmm. So you can just do the automation testing using some of the tools, uh, you know, even from uh, some vendors. And you can do that or integration. And also, which can lead to your continuous delivery. Yeah, yeah? yeah that's the, um, all yeah. those things let you do continuous delivery. And also delivery. a very important thing, uh, continuous monitoring. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's really working in production and give the feedback to the development so that they will do it again. The, for example, the future, you want to change, you want to give the feedback to the development team. Yep. Otherwise, what happens, it will stay there and nobody is giving feedback. It's always a continuous life cycle, right? So that plays a very important role. And also, uh, so what are the benefits? This way you can do it at delivery change faster and better quality with lower cost and different, uh, you do it differently. And I want to concentrate on these slides. Uh, this is a very important thing. Uh, if you are new to DevOps, mm -hmm. there are two books I prefer. Uh, one is uh, uh, the Phoenix Project, written by Jan Kim. He says, uh, uh, systematic thinking, amplified feedback loops. It says, right to left, as well as left to right. The feedback should flow. Then yep. only you can improve this, uh, you know, the quality of the product or any new feature to the production. So my suggestion, go to this uh, blog or you know, buy this book. When you're, when you, if you're new to DevOps, just uh, you know, uh, follow this one. And also culture, automation, measurement, and sharing. Again, everybody says it's almost the same. Uh, they have a little bit uh, different approaches. Yeah. So when are you going to write your own book? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, Maybe soon. Maybe I, I ruined the I ruined the announcement by mentioning that you already started. <laughs> yeah. So, so my suggestion, you know, if you're new to DevOps, start with this. All this, uh, yeah. I think this presentation is will be helpful. Oh. Huh? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna switch back to camera. Yeah. Um, so I think that that answers the question about kind of you know value for DevOps and how it ties in with Oracle Cloud. Yes. And. Um, uh, I just want to end with uh, one of the powerful uh, uh, thing Oracle Cloud have, Oracle Development, uh, development, uh, development cloud, cloud Services. Service. Yeah. So that's the best thing to start now because where you have everything. It's, yeah, yeah, it provides all the tools for DevOps, continuous integration and issue exactly. tracking and rollbacks it's and the whole readily monitoring. readily you can do it. You don't require to spend money and yeah. time for setting up the environments. Everything is available. You start coding and test this. Excellent. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks to you. For the interview, Sai. Thanks. Um, and thank you very much for joining us for the live streamed interviews here at Cloud World Developer Mumbai. Um, you can watch all the interviews at nighthacking.com. Um, and we're going to be doing additional interviews and live streams from other events um, as I travel around India.
So thank you Thanks very much. Thank you all the way coming to India. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs>